today's video is going to be kind of like um, a more like extensive items haul. Um, this is including some of the things I said I was getting for my birthday so long ago that I finally got and some things just from the semi-annual sale at uh, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. Um, I do have a beauty haul coming up that is going to again relate to my skincare routine which if you guys saw my drugstore haul then you'll know that I was planning on doing that. Sorry. I had to fix myself in the frame. I was a little bit low. Um, but yeah, so I just want you guys to know, Shay was my last final, um, and if you guys had noticed in my last probably two videos, and probably this one, I have barely no makeup on. I kind of just slapped a little on, well not really slapped, but I put some on right before this. That way I looked um, kind of like a regular beauty guru. Um, and I'm still in like my sweatshirt and my tank top because I'm going to work after this, so I have to change for that. But, um, for my tests, I just kind of dress really comfortably, like I'm sure most of you guys do for tests. Um, but yeah, so that kind of explains my appearance. And the no nail polish is because of work. I can't wear nail polish to work, so I can't wear nail polish. And it's just kind of a hassle. I have to take it off all the time, and I always forget, so yeah. Anyway, so, um, today's video is just, like I said, some stuff that I got that was kind of like a bigger purchase, and it didn't belong in my drugstore haul. Um... And yeah, and then the other thing is that I'm going away um, Saturday, so I will be posting, I will be pre-filming some videos and then uploading them probably while I'm away, but I'm not sure how that's going to go because I will be leaving the country, I'm going up to Canada, not that exciting probably, unless you live in Canada, then yay Canada, but um, yeah, so I am going to Canada and I will be doing some probably packing videos and things like that, maybe what makeup I'm bringing while I travel, things like that, um, and yeah. But um, I have some videos similar to that on my old channel, VX3B Secret. So if you guys haven't seen those, go check those out. And I guess that is all that I'm going to say for my intro besides subscribe for my 200 subscriber giveaway. And I think I will put in like periodic, like 100 subscriber, 50 subscriber, something like that. Tell me what you guys think. And my $20 makeup challenge is still coming. So now I'll finally get into the video. So, I guess I will start off with what I got for my birthday, since that was long over. So, if you guys don't know, I turned 17 about a month ago, a little over a month ago. So, I showed some things I got back when I just turned 17. They were um, gifts from, like, my friends and things like that. But anyway, so from my parents, I actually waited and I got um, a watch. And I got a Michael Kors watch. It came in a little box like this, but I'm wearing it, so I'll show you. But um, it comes in a box like this, and they give you this cute little pillow. And um, I got mine from Lauren Taylor's, but the Michael Kors store is really nice, and they sized the watch for you. Um, but yeah, so I got this watch in rose gold. I'll actually take it off for you guys. Okay, so yeah, this is the watch that I got. I turned it upside down so you guys could see it on my wrist. This is the Blair Glitz um, watch, and it is in the color rose gold, and it has the cute little diamonds around the outside, and the three, um, smaller moon, I think that's what they're called, um, like, faces on the inside of the main face, and that has, like, the seconds, the hours, and the minutes of the day, and things like that, um, so yeah, that is the first thing I got. I meant to get the runway watch, but I was grounded to study for my finals, so my mom went and got it for me, and I'm still really happy with this, and eventually, if I do want another watch, then maybe I will get the runway then, but yeah, so that is the first thing that I got. And the second thing that I got is actually, uh, my grandma gave me money for my birthday. Um, she wanted me to get some Pandora charms with it, but I ended up getting Pandora charms through my aunt, and so my grandma just said, buy whatever you want with it. Um, so, what I ended up getting was this Michael Kors Continental Envelope Watch, I think that's what it's called. Um, but it's just, it's definitely the Continental, um, wallet. I said watch. Anyway, so it is in this really pretty pink color, and I originally bought the orange, but I got the pink, and it has the gold plate that says Michael Kors. That is what the wallet looks like. I'm so happy to have this. I wanted a bigger wallet. Um, I really was using a wristlet, and I started driving. So I needed a way to kind of carry around all my stuff, and I thought that this was nice, and you could wear it as a clutch out, especially during the summer. Um, I am kind of disappointed, though. It's hard to get this in my Rebecca Minkoff Mini Map, which, as you guys know, is my favorite bag right now. And I was obsessed with it, and I carried it everywhere, and now I can't because I have the wallet that doesn't fit in it. 
So yeah, that I am so happy. I I looked so weird when I said so. I looked like a little chipmunk. Anyway, so that is the wallet, and yeah, I am so happy with it. I love the gold and the pink together, and it is so cute. And then this is going to kind of divide the two different types of Michael Kors versus the semi-annual sale stuff. This is just a shirt that I happen to get. My sister is um, volunteering. Uh, I'm not volunteering, but she's been interning at a company, so she got me this free shirt with a bunny on it, and it is big, and it has a high-low hemline, and yeah, it just has this bunny, and I think it's holding like a Starbucks cup, and it looks like a burglar bunny. I don't know, but it is so cute, so I decided to show you guys. So now, I'm going to get into my Beth and Body Works haul, and I am doing some weird over-the-head thing. Okay, so, um, this is really just some restocking things. I was shopping, and I haven't passed by Bath & Body Works, and I wanted some new candles and a refill. So, I got two candles, really not that much, and I decided to get a refill of Coco Lobo, because I loved, loved, loved this candle. I pretty much burned through it. I haven't burned anything out since. And this is explained as an unforgettable island retreat with papaya nectar, tropical passion fruit, and rich coconut milk layered with caramelized sugar. So this, it honestly, it smells so good. It's like a coconutty cookie. That is, and like, I am a huge warm scents person. Um, the next candle I got, I'm not too thrilled with, but it's okay. Because I'm not really a big fruity, like flowery floral person I guess as far as scents go so I got the Slatkin and Co pomegranate lemonade and these are the three wick candles I didn't show you the top of the ones I burned this a little bit already as you guys can probably see from right there but um so yeah pomegranate lemonade is explained as a juicy pomegranate pink grapefruit and lemon zest blended with rose petals and sugared citron citron sorry so yeah this one really smells like lemonade and it smells really good, but it's like, it's such a strong and like poignant, is that how you say it? poignant? I think, point, poignant, I don't know, um, scent. So it's like kind of loud, you can't burn it for that long, at least I can, because I burn them right next to my bed. So the scent stays a lot. And then what I got was, you guys are going to call me crazy, but they had five for five antibacterial pocket back. So... I got four of the Dancing Waters, which smell like this, and I love these because they smell so clean, um, and I love hand sanitizer that smells clean. And then I got a Raspberry Pink Peony one because it was pink, and it was so cute. But yeah, I like with hand sanitizers, I tend to go for the more like clean smelling ones, ones that smell like water, along with my soap. So anything that smells like a very clean water, normal soap, or like lemony smell, um, those are really nice and I love those. I'm not really a like heavy vanilla or like something like that person because I just want my hands smelling clean. I don't want them smelling like lotion because that's what I'm using lotion for. So yeah. So then I went to Victoria's Secret and um, you guys probably know that they are the same like major company or like masthead I think that's how you would refer to it. So they were also having their semi-annual sale and I did buy a bra but I'm not going to show you guys that obviously. But what I did get that was a really good deal were these little sweatpants and they're just striped with a light blue which is why I liked them so much. And on the back they say love pink on the waistband I think, yeah, waistband. So these are really cute, really soft and they were like $12 I think. Yeah, and they were originally $26.50 so really good deal. And I got them in the small in case you guys are wondering. And then... With any purchase, they had $5 flip-flops, so I had a pair of flip-flops from them. They're okay, the writing comes off, but for $5, I was like, what the heck, I might as well. And so they come in this cute little pink packaging, which is what I put stuff in in my last travel video, so I might do it again this time because it's so handy. But I'll open up the flip-flops, and I got a size medium this time. Last time I got a large. Um, I'm a size 8 or 7.5, somewhere in between there for flip-flops, so if you guys want a reference. And the flip-flops just look like this, if I can get it out. They say pink on the bottom, well no, they say love pink on the bottom, but you guys probably don't care about that. And then on the top they are just a zebra stripe print um, with pink, and then it says pink over here on the pink, well the neon pink um, thong, I think that's the part of the flip-flops that's called, otherwise you guys are just laughing at me because I just said thong in a YouTube video. I love these flip-flops, they're so cute, 
And that is really all that I have to haul for this video, so I hope that you guys like it. I'm still getting back into the groove of filming videos, so I hope that you guys are liking these. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like down below, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!